Art runs through the fiber of my life. Whether it was design, whether it was architectural drawing, whether it was oil painting. I make a lot of art and I do a lot of art, but my being is an artist. I started making art when I was a little kid. Uh, I was different from early on, I, and I knew it. We were immigrants, and you know, the whole thing of working in a store or a factory just like uh, did not appeal to me. Every, everything that I have ever experienced goes into one or more of the paintings. I wasn't foreign to, to drug use or, or drinking heavily. I used to do those things, and then they started doing me. Uh, and that, that turning point occurred without my even being aware of it. I couldn't find any reason to continue. Uh, and because of that, the world seemed to get smaller and shrink. And my plan was either to get sober, to clean, get clean and sober, or to kill myself. Nothing mattered because I was, I was either going to get well or I was going to die. I could only visualize myself being in an insane asylum or, or in a hospital and dying. I couldn't see a future. Rock bottom is a, is a mental state. It's not necessarily a physical or economic state. Could be, but it's not. It wasn't for me. For me, it was just vast emptiness. I was fortunate enough uh, to get help, to ask for help, get help and make good use of it. That was my springboard. As soon as you took the drugs and the alcohol away, I was able to see a future. I was only hoping to make a little bit of money to pay my rent three years ago. So I rented a, a little spot, started painting, and painting sold a little faster than I expected. We have two, two co-ops now that moved in. We have a photographer, a jewelry maker. We just got nominated Best Art Walk in Palm Beach in Broward County. I was groomed as a child to be an artist. I faced every challenge in the world that would stop that career. I made it through. I've enjoyed it. I love it. And I've been in recovery from addictions for over three years.